Um, I like, I just love, I love the Mustangs. They're, they're as good as any other horse at whatever discipline you want to do. I got this fine animal here and she completely changed my mind. She was amazing. I was completely shocked even after the first week I had her that I was already riding her and I was like, this, it was completely different than I thought it was going to be. You know, way easier and, and she was pretty, uh, pretty easy going and, and good to train, so. I got my uh, first Mustang in 2012 um, for the Extreme Mustang makeover in Madison, Wisconsin, where I used to live. Um, and when I first actually applied for the makeover, I was like, there's no way I'm going to do this. I only applied because my mom told me to. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way I can train a wild horse. Like, no, that's crazy. <laughs> I've been doing the, the makeovers for, I guess, five years now. And, you know, I was kind of busy with those horses. I didn't really have time to get just a tip horse. Um, but this, this last fall, I got a horse and a burrow. And um, it's, I think it's a great, great program. It's, it's pretty easy to, to do and find an adopter and get these, get these animals into good homes. So when I first, um, you know, go get a tip horse, um, it's it's pretty exciting to, to kind of meet the horse I'm going to spend a lot of time with and, and stuff. But then when the adopter actually meets the horse, it's it's like twice as exciting because it's actually going to be their horse. And it's really special because most of the time these adopters aren't quite, you know, the people that would be training a completely wild horse, right? And so they might be a little timid about it or something, but I really think more people should find them and whether they just to just have them as a pet for pleasure or do trail riding or in competitions. Like, I, I would love to see Mustangs get more into these bigger competitions. I encourage you to, to either adopt a Mustang or for you trainers out there that are kind of stuck on one breed, try a Mustang. Like, it's really not that scary. They're not as, as wild and crazy as you might think. Um, they, I mean, they're pretty, I think they'll surprise you how good they should be and how willing they are.